Alès, could you tell me why you have chosen uh, Michel Parmentier for the opening of your new gallery? Um, I, well, I grew up in Europe and I was always conscious of the work and would see it in museums. And um, although he painted very little, I you know, would, was very aware of it growing up. And I was researching on Kawara and then came across a catalog of an exhibition that Anne Temkin did at MoMA on the color chart and saw a painting of his and it was really, it triggered off uh, my memory of his work and I started researching it and I was really struck by the fact that he only painted 75 canvases in his life so he had this very tight rigorous practice and I was very taken by that, that rigor of vision and the sort of discipline and I thought that in today's art world in New York to open a show about this very pure artist would somehow you know, have a certain effect and it certainly had a huge Why? response. Because the art world's changed a lot since the 60s and, and it's a very different attitude. It's, it's not better or worse, it's just different. And, um, and I think the contrast of how um, people see the world today to how they did back then is, is, um, um, is very interesting. But do you think that New York is ready to accept a French conceptual, very strict artist? Yeah, very much so. I mean, there's certainly a resurgence in interest in, in um, artists from that generation from France. Um, it's also no coincidence that 1968, a lot of these French artists became highly politicized around that date in Paris. And I think that um, with the political climate in, the, in, in this country right now, it's, it, there's a connection to that, I think. There's certainly an, a re, um, there's more interest in politics and, and, and than there ever has been. So I think there's definitely a connection.